Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Melinda Bigley and I wanted to show you guys the new fills and motifs that Baby Lock just came out with. Yesterday was launch day and if you're a member of the Solaris group on Facebook, Baby Lock Solaris group, then you got to see Mike John's introduction to that. But what I'm gonna show you is pretty much the same thing he went over um, in this YouTube video though. I'm gonna show you how to access it I do not have a USB. We didn't, we, the educators, uh, we have a little different system, but you will get a USB from Baby Lock mm -hmm. when you purchase your new designs and fills. Um, and you'll just load that into your machine and you need to know which port you enter that, if it's the top or bottom, because that will affect where you get those, where you access those. Okay, so um, something else that's neat about the new fills and motifs is that they are going to be coming out uh, on a, not a, it will not be a scheduled planned res, uh, launch, but they will be producing more of these. And I know that they're working hard on a lot of them right now. So you'll see more of them and it's something that I think you'll really enjoy. So let's pretend I have the USB plugged in. I'm gonna go to my IQ. My machine was just about to go to sleep. That's why I did that. So the way, you're, the way you're going to access your motifs and fills is in both of your fill and your line property section. So let's go to our line properties first. To access this, we're going to go to our extra line properties right here. I'm going to say select. Now you can see the properties that we have on this machine that came with it. But I'm going to go into custom. And now you can see the line properties or motifs is what they're called with Baby Lock already loaded onto my custom line properties. And they are a whole lot of fun. But the way you go, ahead, go about doing that is you're going to go, let's, let's clear all. Okay, you're going to go into, oh, you know what? I just cleared those. Okay, so let's go into select custom and the way you would find those is you would go into let's do this one here let's go to winter Christmas and then we're going to select motifs because we are in the line properties so I'm going to select the candy canes I'm going to say okay and then you can see that popped up right here in custom if I want to add another I'm going to go back to winter Christmas if I just want to see uh, the winter Christmas ones and let's go grab these cute little ribbons so now that is going to stay in my custom section until I clear all or I wanna add more. Now note that there are 12 slots within this custom section. If you filled up that 12th slot and, you're, and you go to put your 13th in, um, you need to just remove one of them so that you can place that into your ability to select that. So now that we've got a couple of those in there, which you can see in there, I've already got that selected Okay, so I'm just gonna grab, let's do red. I'm gonna say, okay. Now to apply that, let's just pick, oh gosh, I don't know. Let's pick, this is the hardest part for me. Let's pick a uh, rounded square. Okay, so this was actually applied already because we had that selected prior to, uh, prior to having create, brought in that square. So, so that you can see what it looks like, let's go to next. And that's where you'll see your actual um, motif in your screen. You won't see that in the other, you'll just see that line of, um, of the square. But let's enlarge these, which you can do to a, a fairly large amount. You've got a lot of flexibility in how you arrange these. So let's bring that up even closer so you can see that. And you can see how pretty that is. Very pretty uh, frame around things. You could, I, I can picture even making Christmas ornaments with these, having someone's picture in there. Uh, and then go to this little guy. So right now, we can, you can see that this, the, the uh, triangles are actually on the bottom side of that line. So let's switch to the top and see what happens here. Okay, so it just flipped your ribbons over if you wanna do that. And it looks cute either way, honestly, it looks very cute. Okay, so that is how you're going to work your motifs. Now, let's go all clear, and let's go into our fill properties. I'm gonna grab a hold of the decorative fills and select. 
I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. I'm gonna go into custom. And now you can see the custom fills that I've already brought in, but let's go to the pocket. Let's go to this little section right here that has Halloween, Happy New Year, Thanksgiving, and Winter Christmas. So let's go to Halloween just for fun. And now we're gonna to go to the fills. When you're in line properties, you go for motifs. And when you're in the fills, you go to fills. And there are your options for Halloween. These are really cute too. So let's grab this one that is Boo with a little swirly thing and a bat and the bee. So now I just move that into my custom fills. So that'll stay in there until I remove it. Okay, so let's pick orange and say okay. I wanna see that fill spill into my screen. So I'm gonna grab my paint bucket and apply that to my screen. So now that'll fill, no pun intended, that fill will fill your screen. Unless you put something else in there to um, capture it into, into a different uh, shape or a frame size or whatever it is. So here, again, I can go in here and affect all sorts of things, affect the property. I can shrink this down. See what it looks at, like at 50%. Wow, that is quite impressive. I don't know how long that would take to stitch out, but I can imagine it would take quite some time. But it's adorable. So super cute, lots and lots of applications. Um, and just so you guys know, my lives, which are usually Thursday at 3 p.m. PST, is actually on... Friday this month, this week at 3 p.m. Um, and I will be taking this a little step further and adding something kind of special to the fill. Kind of just something I was thinking about yesterday and stitched out and I really like it. So I will be showing you guys the um, design suite in a little bit of a different context at our live on, on Friday. Okay, so hopefully that will give you an idea as to how to access now, keep in mind, if you have a Solaris, but you do not have the upgrade three, so let's say it's a Solaris two like this machine is, this machine is updated to, or upgraded to a Solaris three. The Solaris three and the Solaris Vision are the only ones that can access these so that you can place them into your machine and utilize them. Okay, so it's not for anything else but the Solaris three and the Vision. So hopefully that will clarify and answer some questions for some people. I hope you guys got something out of that and that it's fun to look and see and get inspired as far as what else you could make with these. And again, I'll be showing you something real fun on Friday at three o'clock in So Blessed Quilting and Embroidery Facebook group. So if you're not a part of that, please join it and I will see you guys on Friday. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.